Hi guys, I'm Miss Lori. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we are still canning. <laughs> we are still getting stuff out of the garden. And uh, people have given me some stuff out of their gardens. And we are filling the pantry up. But today we're canning squash. And I'm just, I do my squash just a little bit different because I put garlic and I put spices in with it. Because uh, I like to use my squashes in stews and soups. I like to put it in ratatouille. Um, I'll, at the last minute, I like to spread it out on a sheet pan and roast it, which is really good. There's just several things that you can do with it. And here I've got some uh, acorn squash and I've got some yellow squash. And that's what I'm going to can it today. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. And I'm going to tell you the different spices that I'm going to put in here. And I've already got them in my jar ready to go. So what I'm putting in here is about two to three garlic cloves. I've got since it's in quart jars, I've got a teaspoon of salt, and you don't have to put salt in it, but I do. If you're doing pints, you need a half a teaspoon of uh, salt. I've got a quarter of a teaspoon of rosemary out of my garden, and a quarter of a teaspoon of lemon thyme out of my garden. Um, and what this is going to do while it's sitting on the shelf is your squashes are just going to infuse all these different herbs and be really good when you use them for whatever dish you're going to use them for. And uh, I went ahead and I got all my jars uh, full of my garlic. And if I tell you, if you never raise lemon thyme, please try it because I just absolutely love lemon thyme. It's so good with chicken and with fish and it's really good. So we got all of our herbs and our garlic in there. So now what we're going to do is just pack our jars. And um, you can cut them up whatever size you want to. This is the size I've got most of mine because they'll stay firmer and hold up better in your dishes. So I'm just going to put, and I'm using my clean hands because it's easier to do and control it. But they are clean. I'm going to start out with the yellow squash. And you want to you want to put quite a few pieces in there because if you don't, you're liable to end up with uh, once you process it, they'll be floating to the top, and you'll realize you didn't put enough in there. So I've got yellow squash. Now I'm going to start putting my acorn squash, and I'm going to push them down in there. Now they're a pretty good size, but I do know that they get really soft. So I want them a reasonable size so they don't end up as mush. And squash tends to do that when it's pressured. But I cannot put anything else in my freezer. I've got uh, fresh meat in there and I'm fixing to have fresh chickens. I've already put up quite a bit out of the garden in there. And my pantry is getting full. So yes, God's been good. He's blessed us very much. And uh, everything's going to be good this winter. So I got my squashes in there. Now all I'm going to do is fill my jars up to about an inch head space. with water. I think I got too much in there. Got a little bit too much water, but you want to try really hard to debubble. So if you if you put some in there and you see that's too hard, you may have to take a piece out. And that'll make it easier. So just taking that one piece out made a difference. It's not as tight and I can get in there and debubble it. And it's got about an inch head space in there. It makes a really, really pretty jar too. 
because you can see the garlic and all them herbs in there in the jar floating around and it looks good. Okay, we're going to take our linen cloth and I'm going to go around the, the top and the sides because I got little pieces of herb on there and you want to make sure it's good and clean so that your seal seals good. And I hope everybody's had a good garden this year and got quite a bit out of it to maybe help you get through the winter time. So I'm gonna put my lid on. I'm gonna put my ring on finger tight. And I'm gonna put them in the I'm gonna put them in the canner. So I'm gonna finish my rat killing here. Get them all done, get them in there. And then we'll come back and uh, see what's going on. Okay, I wanted to show you my last jar before I put it in the canner. And it looks really pretty. So I got all of them in there except this and we're going to get them in there and put the lid on. The steam coming out now. We're going to count down 10 minutes. Okay, it's been 10 minutes so we're going to put the plate on. And when it comes up to 10 pounds of pressure, we're going to time it for 30 minutes. Okay, we got our squash can, seven quarts, that much more to put in the pantry, pop. I hope y'all like this video, and this is a really good way to can your squash. It smells good, you can smell the herbs in it from canning. So anyways, happy canning. We'll see you in a couple of days. God bless.